Hey everybody, Aragon96 here, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be playing Let's Go To Work. Um, well, basically it's just Let's Go To Work mod, only I don't have the mod installed. Um, so basically, uh, today what we're going to do, uh, what our job today is, is to um, deliver these police cars. Um, I got the, um, the car hauler mod installed, which is made by I'm Not Mentally Stable, I'm Not Mental, or I'm Not Mentally Stable. He's a very well-known modder on uh, GTA 5 mods, but basically what it does is it'll actually let you carry vehicles on a trailer without them falling off or anything, which is going to be very useful. So, uh, so I can do episode like this, and we can do multiple different cars, you know, we don't have to do police station cars, we can do like hearses and stuff like that, all that good stuff. But anyway, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to start at the bottom and drop off the um, city police cars first, and then work our way all the way up to Perino Bay eventually, and drop off that last state trooper car on the top in the very beginning, that'll be the last car we drop off since it's the very top and you have to wait until you have the bottom one unloaded before you can even get to the top. Um, but basically we're going to be dropping off these three cop cars at the bottom in the city in different locations uh, because they either upgraded or they um, they're past, uh, if every one of them upgraded and for the smaller city like Sandy Sword and stuff, they're basically getting handy down. So you have the one on the top middle, that's an older state trooper car that'll probably go to Sandy since it's, um, Sandy Sword since it's the, a small sheriff office, they don't have a lot of funds, so they're basically getting the handy down of Pluto Bay, which have more funds because it's a little bit bigger so they can afford a new car like the one above. So we're going to be basically doing that. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know if you guys want to see more stuff like this. I'm, uh, I'm using my unmark, uh, my off-duty clothes, because as a chief of police and everything, I can deliver them, I, since I have a CDL and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to be delivering them myself. I picked them up from the dock um, at that gate, the second gate to the left of me. Um, is the one that I actually picked it up from. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this. Uh, hold on. Alright, so, anyway, so right now, oh god, it's doing that stupid thing where I can't get it in the full mode. Oh, I hate when it does that. Uh, give me one second, guys. I just gotta get the hoarded back up. But anyway, so yeah, we're gonna be doing the different police stations, and I'm gonna probably do more episodes like this now that I have it installed and I know how it works and everything. So we'll probably deliver houses and maybe even put different vehicle mods in and deliver cars to like uh, Simon Motorforts and all that good stuff. Um, I plan on doing other stuff too, like I got the flatbed put in, and so we'll be able to actually tow on that, so we can do like repossession jobs, or uh, broken down vehicle, stuff like that. That guy driving on the wrong side of the road, I gotta remember how to get out of here.
Um, for the Durango, I wanted the Unmarked um, probably to go here, to be honest. Uh, I mean, yeah, Durango. The Unmarked will go to Ghost Street. Since they're more of a dangerous place, they want unmarked cars, so the games don't really see them as easily and stuff like that. So we'll definitely drop the, uh, the unmarked there. So right now we're heading to, um, what is that, uh, what is that location? Mission Row, I think? No, uh, Wamesa. The, uh, Wamesa police station first. Now, I, what, one thing I did notice about this is the trailer kind of glitches, like it acts like I hit something even though I didn't. So, if you see it fly randomly, just 1022 that, it's nothing I can do about it. Ah, this is what I'm talking about, come on. There we go. Oh, I bits. Anyways, so hopefully you guys' weekend's going really good. Uh, I believe mine is. I've got a date Friday, and if I'm doing my calculations right, this actually should be really, really Thursday. So hopefully you guys are having a happy Thursday. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of recording tomorrow for sure. Uh, I I could have recorded today, which is a lot more, which is blink day, but my father's surgery took a lot longer than I thought. So uh, I'm gonna have to hold back on that. Friday I'll be busy with my date and everything. So I I I I, I apologize for all the lack of con content and stuff like that, cause. I've been pretty busy the last couple of weeks trying to plan for his surgery and working and all that good stuff. So I, I'm glad I, I appreciate you guys understanding and being patient. But don't worry, I am working on trying as much as possible to get more into this. Uh, my roommate actually gave me a good idea for some videos. Um, you guys will have to let me know in the comment section what you guys think, but basically, since I should tell my stories at some work while I'm playing games, so you guys can see my reaction to them and see why I, my job is so crazy, I guess, like dealing with, I, I guess I'm gonna say, I, I would say stupid people, like, it, it's amazing what you hear on a daily basis and you're just like, what? That makes no sense. Like, you know, stuff like that. So, if you guys want to see, hear some stories of like, my craziest moments at work, um, I could totally do that during videos because I see new stuff every day. I, I've been working at uh, Pizza Hut for three years and I have seen some amazing stuff out of the three years and it's still constantly, I still constantly get surprises. And it's just amazing me to be honest. I mean, I have some high patience, but there are just some people you just want to like lose your head, your mind. You know, like how do you fund some <laughs> basically stuff like that? Go. Of course, I need gas. Yes. 
So we're almost to the Wall Mesa police station. As soon as we get there, we're gonna drop the Durango off. Cause they ordered that one. I really wish I knew how to mod, or you know, like actual making the mods, you know, because I would love to do like a 2017 pack where there's nothing but 17 cars, so you can do mods like this. You know, so it makes a little more sense, like, oh hey, the whole police department is switching their cars out, and going all the 2017 or something like that, you know what I mean? Like, that would be great. I don't know if I'm gonna fit this. You guys might have to 1022 this. No, nope. yeah, you're gonna have to 1022 this. Ah! The thing I don't like about this mod is that the trailer won't actually turn with the... God! Ah! Really? So basically, the, the trailer don't turn like uh, a normal trailer does in real life, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't turn as hard as it should, I guess is what I would say. Okay, so you guys are going to 1022 that because there's nothing I can do about that, which makes me mad, but it, it doesn't turn right, I guess is what I would say. It, like, it's supposed to turn with the truck, but it, I don't know. Uh, hit traffic. Like real life. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna back it into the light like this. And of course the light went freaking red. Okay, so as soon as this light turns green, we'll back up and drop off the rainbow. <sighs> Hopefully you guys enjoy this series. It, it's something different, you know, I'm not constantly well playing as a cop. You know, pulling people over and everything, it's different, like... I, I wish I could do, like, a corner, like, you can actually pick up bodies, and, Or, like, I, I have a firefighter mod and an EMF mod, I need to use that more often. As well, I just haven't had a lot of time, but as soon as I... Get a lot more free time and stuff, I'm definitely going to be doing stuff like that more often. I really need to do like seven episodes a day, but my schedule is just so out of whack. I just can't schedule what I need to schedule right now. Which is really too bad, because I really want to get more into this, but I'm at least trying to do one, uh, uh, my minimum is one a week, but I'm trying to release one every day. So. Uh, kind of hard at the moment. Oh, the heck was that? Ha, <laughs> I broke the tire. What is that? What? There you go. Weird. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and part this. Super bouncy. Alright. Well, technically I'm the cheaper of police, so I can sign for it. But I just want another person in the department to look sign document for a secretary to let him know that oh you yeah, guys didn't see that yeah I did not see that but just to let a secretary know that I dropped it off and everything for her records yep hi Sally go ahead and sign this for me thanks yep see you later I need to turn that off so I can jump I had that on because I was struggling with something earlier so I had to do a super jump Anyway, guys, so we're good. Uh, we're good on this place. 
So let's go ahead and start heading to Grove Street. Get that dropped off. After we get some graphers, of course. You know, I never understand that. It takes forever to do up, but it doesn't take that long to go down. Nice, like real life. Oh, come on. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I, 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 it's something different, you know. Yeah, it's, it's not as much action, but it definitely brings out my role play a little bit more, you know, at different areas other than just a police officer. But, um, let's go ahead and get some gas, and then we'll start heading over to grocery. Hopefully you guys will use it on crazy as mine. You know, I, I have so many surgeries in my life, but it's so weird watching my father have surgery for the first time out of his 50 years and just wondering, how did you put up with me when I was little? Dealing with all my surgeries and everything. It just amazes me what parents do for you. Come on, people, don't walk while the truck is moving. Come on. Yeah, keep walking, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Typical AI. Alright, guys, so let's go ahead and head over to the grocery and drop off this unmarked unit. If you guys have any idea what I should carry next, um, let me know. I can't really do like helicopter or anything or SUVs. I really wanted to put uh, the the new Tahoe, you know, like the state trooper one I have, and the uh, unmarked Tahoe because they're newer than some of these cars. But unfortunately, it's too wide, so don't go on the trailer. I can get it on the trailer, but I can't get it off because of the way that the mod works. Oh, I would definitely be doing some more of that stuff, but, um... I really need to get, like, a skin for a charger or something that looks like a firefighter charger and stuff like that so I can start doing like dropping off new fire vehicles and stuff like that but um, I could definitely do like brand new cars and dropping them off at a local dealership or something like that I was thinking about you guys I'm, I'm gonna download it see if I can get it to work again but I had a a vehicle that looks like a Pizza Hut scooter so maybe I can like role play as a uh, police, uh, pizza delivery driver <laughs> Which I constantly do, so I'd be pretty good. I don't want to technically be low point. I'd be doing my job. <laughs> and then maybe I can actually like low point some of my scenarios <laughs> that I had happen at work. That would be interesting.
<coughs> oh, stupid guys, I apologize. Ah, oh, that hurt. <clears throat> and this, this cold is still kicking my butt a little bit, unfortunately. I'm pretty much over <clears throat> just that last of the stuff. It's still trying to get out, but. Slowly but surely it's ending. Uh, it's snowing like. It's snowing like crazy where I live right now. It was literally all about melted away, and then Idaho is like, and we're back! And now it's covered in snow. <laughs> Once again, unfortunately, but... I don't mind snow, it's... The... <clears throat> I love the snow, the only thing that bothers me is I'm... I'm, I'm a good driver, you know, I'm not saying I'm the best driver, but... I'm good enough to be able to drive in the snow, but there is this, it, it's not the snow that worries me, it's the other drivers. You know, I know when the floor, I know to drive slow and drive through the weather, <coughs> sorry. You know, drive through the weather and stuff, but I just see these people driving like 40 mile an hour in a generally like a 25 and they're like, oh, I'm gonna go 40, and it's icy and snowy, and and it's just like, you guys gotta slow down, like, you're gonna kill me because I'm going 15 like I'm supposed to be, while you're going 40 because you have four-wheel drive, so you, you can do whatever you want. Which is really not the case, just because you have four-wheel drive doesn't mean you drive like that, you know. But some people don't have brain cells, so... They want to risk people's life, that's fine, but just don't do it around me. I'll 